Where are you? Did you go live? I did. Where are you at? You're going what live. do you have on? Everybody, come on in. Come on in, come on in. Say hello when you get here. Hi, everyone. This is Jen with Jen's Den Art, and I am so excited to be here with you tonight. We are going to do some fun and interesting painting tonight. Michael is here with me, my husband. Michael, say hello. Hello. <laughs> He's back there. He's over there. Everybody tell Michael hi. Hello, Cindy. Hey, Miss Sue and Carmel. Say where are you from Nova Scotia. So nice to see you. We love us from Nova Scotia. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello, everyone. And Ellen, everybody come on in, have a seat. It's been a while. I am back to share some fun acrylic painting with all of you. We're gonna do some tutorials tonight and I'm gonna talk to y'all about a fun event that we have coming up starting on the 27th of January. When is that? That is still um, like a week and a half away. But if you join before, um, January 20th, you get my free, you get my acrylic 101 course for free to watch. So, what? Yes. So we're going to talk about our paint party that we have coming up and we are going to paint. We're going to do something different tonight. I'm so excited because I have been wanting to get back into palette knife painting for a while. Um, I have some palette knife tutorials in our tribe that are um, solely palette knives, but I don't have that many. And I've been asked a lot to do some palette knife painting. So um, I was refreshing my skills last week and I cannot wait to show you some of the techniques that we're gonna use in a painting very similar to this tonight, okay? So the watercolor paper was 300 pound. Yes, that was the one that I had used. This one is not, this was just like a, um, this was something else, um, like 140 pound or something. So what I'm gonna be doing tonight though, is I'm gonna be painting on a, um, what do you call these? A panel, one of those little blick panels. I really enjoy painting on these. If you've been painting for me with me a while, you know that it's one of my most favorite surfaces that I do paint on. Um, and I have a lot of them. They're easy to store. They're really thin and I can, um, I can store them just in like a little file cabinet, you know, even there, you know, once they're all painted on and I'm just like flipping through my paintings, it's just really, really easy to store them. And um, I really like painting on them. So if you have any questions about anything, please just let us know. Before we get started, I'm going to talk about our paint party that we have coming up on February, um, no, January 27th. It's five days. And this is what we are going to be painting. We're going to be painting four flowers okay it it's all about flowers right now i am um i'm in the i'm in the flower mood for probably the next four weeks i have made the decision that it is time to boof up our floral library in our tribe with more flowers so we are going to experiment a lot with different types of florals painting them in all different ways. So get ready because it's going to be fun. Jim, what size is the board? I have to get it in while you're talking. Okay. Whew. So we're going to be painting on an eight by 10 tonight. That's the board that I'm going to be using, but our pop-up paint party is going to be on 10 by 10s, 10 by 10s. And these are actual canvases that are, you know, like kind of, you know, just your regular cotton canvases. And um, we're going to be painting a daylily, okay, with or without the pink highlights. You can do it just solid white or you can do it with the pink highlights. We are going to be painting, this is actually my favorite. Um, we're going to be, be painting some red tulips. Every day we're going to be painting a different flower arrangement. 
This one is a purple hydrangea, or I guess a blue hydrangea. I don't know. Whatever Question. you want to call it. What's that? Would 12 by 12 be okay for this painting tonight? Yes, absolutely. It will be fine. Are we going to do the backgrounds first like we did on the bird series? No. 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 You shook your head yes and said no. No, we are not. No, I, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Can you do that? Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> what other color could you use on them besides aqua? Hmm. I don't know. Why wouldn't you want to use aqua? You want to use maybe yellow? Maybe hmm. like a pale yellow? Judy Zeppa sent 50 stars. I don't know. Thank you, Miss Judy. So anyway, this is going to be a $10 paint party or challenge, whatever. It depends on what you like to, for it to be called. And um, it will take place for five days, January 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th. And on the 31st, we're going to do a Zoom party with everyone. And we are going to take questions and we are going to do like a little uh, a time to work together. If you want to work together, we're going to do prizes and um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to have like a celebration party at the end. Um, but each one of these is going to be painted each day. Okay. One a day. And then on the last day, we're going to have a, um, a virtual party, a celebration. Jenny came with so, 100 stars. Um, thank you, Miss Jenny. I'm so what I'm going to do right now before we get started is I am going to post the, uh, the link to the paint party and Michael, if you, if, or Cindy, if you happen, they are 10 by 10s, Miss Pat. These are, these are 10 by 10s. Um, if you, and the, the templates are for 10 by 10s. That's what we made them for. If you uh, happen to see that um, link in the um Cindy in the already live, posted it. She pinned it. Oh, I'm going to pin it. Since, if, she, if, if since you know, she didn't pin it, I'm going to pin it. Okay. If you know oh, how to pin Cindy. it, that would really um, help I know if how. it's possible to pin. Okay. So let's change gears right now and let's get started on what we're actually going to do tonight. Because what I want to do is I want to give you a little taste of um, a couple of different options for painting this. And tonight is... Um, basically like a series of lives that I'm going to be doing over the next couple of weeks. And we are going to, um, we're going to take something similar to this, this something very similar to this type of painting. Um, and we're going to paint it different ways. We're going to look at different techniques and how you can accomplish um, something similar to this using a paintbrush, a palette knife, using a, um, acrylics as more of like a watercolor type painting and we're going to look at the different final products but the most important thing is not about the final product okay i know that y'all are all looking at this and i've really gotten a lot of positive feedback on it but we really want to enjoy the process we really want to talk about getting past that fear of starting on a blank canvas and enjoying yourself and not looking at, oh, I want to create the final product and how do I start? Okay. So we really want to spend some time talking about, um, you know, being confident in, in, um, in the fact of just playing. Okay. Just playing. Just don't be afraid to play. So what I'm going to do first, I'm actually going to make myself smaller so y'all don't see my big face right here and there we go that's better right let me see if i have my oh heidi said it reminds her of a thomas kincaid painting you know jen i pinned it but it it doesn't show like it's there oh really yeah it literally says do i want to unpin it no don't unpin it leave well, it I there know, but, it shows but, to them though uh, it should show to them saskatchewan canada Okay, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use just a little charcoal pencil, and I'm actually just going to sketch. Now I'm I'm painting this a little bit smaller than what I had here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sketch and I'm gonna use a little charcoal pencil, but I'm also going to talk to you about the supplies that we're gonna use here. Don't look at all of my mess here. 
This is a palette knife, okay? This is another palette knife. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you, Deborah. I'm not going to use um, plastics. Here's another palette knife. These two are the same. Um, this is another palette knife. Y'all see how many different palette knives I have? Got a question for you. Yeah. What do you use to put on your to put your paints on? Looks like wax paper. It kind of is. I'll um I'll answer that in just a minute. Okay, see how like I can I have like hundreds and hundreds. Well, not hundreds, but I have a lot of palette knives. Okay. And what I'm what I want for tonight, because I'm working on a small surface, I want something, <coughs> excuse me. I want something kind of tiny, okay? I want something kind of like in this this size right here because I'm working on a small surface. But I'm also going to um, I'm also going to make sure I have like kind of like a medium size for some of my work. Let's see, this looks pretty good. Thank you, Heidi and Judy. This is a medium size. I would say that's pretty good. Okay, if you do like me and you let your palette knives get dry with a bunch of paint on them, do like I'm doing right now. I stuck this one in the water for like 30 minutes. And then once you take it out of the water, you can just like, you can get all of that paint off of them. You don't want to have any paint on your palette knives when you're, when you're going to use it. Oh, got you a question. It, Sorry. You want it to have a smooth surface. Okay, so I'm going to take these. I'm going to take these out, and I'm going to have those. I want you to notice this. One of them is really, really pointed, and one of them is curved. I want both because you'll see what I'm going to be doing with these in just a minute. Got a question. Okay. Michelle asks, why do you have so many palette knives, and do you need that many? No, you do not need that many. It's because I'm a hoarder when it comes to paint, paint brushes and palette knives. I just love them. I love, like a lot of times I'll see one in a pack that I'm like, oh, I don't have that one. I want to try that shape of that palette knife. So I end up buying the whole pack and I only wanted really, only needed like one of them. I just like palette knives. Michelle also asked, how much money was that on all of those palette knives? Not much. Like you can get a set of five for like six bucks. Hmm. So, yeah. Thank you, Michelle, for your now, concern. Now, I've been painting for seven years, so this is a this is an accumulation. It doesn't happen overnight, okay? So just keep that in mind. The other question is, what am I using for um, what I'm putting my paint on? And it is, I'm looking for the original. Here it is. Shay sent 100 stars. Thank you, Miss Shay. <laughs> I don't have the original top to it because I tore it off. It's called, it's, it's a tablet. This one's big. It's a tablet with like almost like wax paper in it, but it's actual disposable. Um, it's a disposable paint palette. That's what it's called. So I fold it in half so that I only use half of it at a time when I'm working small and so that y'all can see everything that I'm doing right here in the camera. I make sure that everything's visible. Oh, it's so kind that's of, that's why. Yeah. So what? When you stuck that in front of the camera, it blurred everything out, but you're good. Okay. So there you go. And you're using acrylic paints tonight. Any particular brand? <laughs> I'm going to show y'all what I have laid out right here. This is what I picked up. I have Master's Touch, I have Liquitex, I have Blick Art, I have Liquitex again, I have Liquitex, I have Liquitex, I have Golden, I have um, Windsor Newton, okay, um, I have, I don't even know, M. Graham and Company. Marianne says, hmm, extra palette knives as prizes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Used palette knives. All right. So, no, I do not have a particular brand, but I think you see a little pattern here. They are almost all heavy body acrylics. Um, if they're not heavy body, they're basic acrylics, but these are pretty thick as well. So you can definitely use these. I buy most of my paints at Blick.com or Hobby Lobby. I love Liquitex and I love um, I love Golden 
and I really like Windsor and Newton. I just started using Windsor and Newton. So I just kind of, I just kind of play around with whatever's on sale at the time. Cause you know how Blick has sales sometimes. I just kind of go that route. And I like to try different things. So, all right. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, start sketching and then I'll talk as we go through. I'll talk to you about all of the different colors that I'm going to be using as well. So the first thing I want to do is give myself now the sketch is not in stone. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a really rough sketch here of the house back here. OK, and um, just going to kind of give myself an idea just just for visual so that I have an idea of where it's going to be. And then I know that that's the placement of all of this really rough. And then I'm going to have my flowers are going to go right here. Now I feel I kind of feel like I'm going bigger with my house than I did originally. What type of pencil is that? This is a, a charcoal pencil. It's just a peel and sketch charcoal pencil. It's a sketch pencil. OK, but I, I like to use charcoal and you see it kind of comes off. See that? So it's not permanent at all. You can like take a wet. I can take a wet towel and like wipe it so it doesn't stick much. All right. So that's my sketch. That's all I need. I don't need anything else. We're just going to kind of play around with all of this. And what I'm going to do first is it does not have to be complete. Um, complete. What's the word I'm looking for? A palette knife. I'm actually going to start with a little bit of a paintbrush. OK, because if I start with a palette knife, it's going to take me a really long time to cover this whole thing. So what are the colors I'm going to start with? The first thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to work on the area that is the furthest back, which is the sky area. And in the sky, I'm going to start with some blue. And the blue that I'm starting with is called light blue permanent, light blue permanent. And then, of course, you're always going to need some white. So I'm going to grab a palette knife. Just, I'm not okay. sure what it was. What was it? I'm going to grab a palette knife just to scrape some white out of my jar. Because you see I buy these in big jars. And I'm going to scrape my white out of there. I'm just going to put that on the side. You can use... Paper towels, I like to use um, old rags to just wipe your palette knife off so it doesn't get all dry and messed up. And then something else I wanted to, uh, to point out to you is I do not like using paper plates for uh, my paints because a paper plate has raised edges. And when you're using a palette knife, I like to have everything flat as flat as can be. So I make sure that I use, whenever I put my paint on something, I use something that is completely flat. that does not have raised edges on it. So that's why I buy these um, disposable um, papers here. I used to use a glass palette, but I actually changed. I changed and I started using this. So I'm just gonna use a paintbrush first and I'm going to just put a bunch of paint on here. I have, there's no pattern to this. It's just basically I'm just covering and I'm using white and I'm using this light blue permanent. Now you don't need much paint at all to do something like this, okay? You don't need much paint at all. So I'm just gonna cover that area like that first and I'm going to clean my paintbrush off and then I'm going to come with a little bit of green and this green is a sap green and I'm going to come with my black do you see oh yeah there's my black because I want to I want to mix just a little bit of black with my green to make an even darker green and look palette knives are great for mixing colors as well. 
you can easily just pull this paint together like that and then kind of scrape it up in a little pile and then you've got yourself some darker green here and so I'm just going to come in here with my paintbrush and I'm just going to make a little bit of this area I'm just going to cover some of it for myself so that I'm not only you know solely using a palette knife and look there's so many different ways to paint this so you know there's not just one technique for using a palette knife so keep that in mind when you're watching this you know i'm going to show you just one technique but and i just dip my paintbrush in the water to help it flow just a little bit better all right so that kind of gives me an idea of where my my green is going to be and where my blue is going to be and then i'm going to show you the picture again that we're kind of going with to give you an idea of where we're going okay so here's where the fun comes in i'm going to take my palette knife and i'm going to start with kind of like the medium size one and i'm going to pull some of this white and some of this blue together i'm not going to mix it to make a total complete new color but I am going to put some of this on my on my palette knife and I'm just going to kind of move my palette knife around now I have to explain this to you in detail because you won't understand because it's really hard to see what I'm doing I'm grabbing the palette knife and I'm using one one side of it and then I'm using the other side of it I'm not here. using it flat right now. I'm using like the two sides and I'm kind of flipping a little bit. What's your question? Mary Ann says, is there a recommended placement of colors on your palette? I tend to glop mine everywhere. Am I normal or, I'm normal or can we make painting life easier? You can make painting life easier by, uh, I'm, I'm very unorganized. I'm not going to lie. I'm unorganized in my entire life. Okay. Can you zoom um, in? Someone asked, by the way. Yeah. Um, so yes. I kind of just lay it down wherever I want, but it would be very beneficial if you kind of lay like your colors around and put your white and your black in the middle because your white and your black gets mixed with almost every color that you're gonna use. Okay, now I want you to also notice that I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing anything. That chair is really aggravating me. <laughs> is it aggravating you um, or is it just me? Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Did you not notice it? Uh. <laughs> No. <laughs> His chair is squeaking and he keeps on moving. <laughs> I'm like, okay, you need to stop. <laughs> I'm getting it from everybody tonight. <laughs> Holy moly. I should have stayed in the living room and ate popcorn. <laughs> now I'm going to start using a smaller palette knife and I'm going to show you why. Were you going to ask another question? Uh, Nancy said, warm colors on left, cool colors on right, black and white right in the middle. That's if you want to be, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> That's you, if you, you want to be that. organized. That's if you want to do what <laughs> Good. the teachers say, the professional teachers say to do. Are you using a gel medium or is that just white paint? No, this is just paint. This is just acrylic paint. That's all it is. All it is. Thank you, Jenny. What? She said, be nice to my buddy, Michael. <laughs> I got to move this out of the way because I can't hold my palette knife straight. Now, I also want to share with you this. Um, if you if you put a little bit too much um, movement in your work on your palette, on your paint surface, you're going to start losing the dimension okay so don't keep on working 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 just go in there put what you want and then get out 
don't keep on working. So I am almost done with this. I'm just grabbing a little bit of white. I'm grabbing a little bit of blue. And can y'all see over here what I'm doing? And I'm just kind of going around. <laughs> Cindy? Lou. What did Cindy say? Cindy was picking on me, Mama. What did she say? She said, Michael did good tonight. He pinned a link. <laughs> <laughs> I should give him credit, huh, Cindy? <laughs> All right, I'm going to back up just a little bit. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to dive into this house. And I'm going to grab some of this black. And it's solid black right now. And just going to kind of play around with that. See how I'm using the edge? When I use the edge like this, I'm using it at an angle. Most of the time, I do not use the palette knife flat. I always use it at a little bit of an angle. So now we're going to come in with what's called some buff white because I want my house to be kind of like a creamy, yellowy color. So I'm going to put some buff white. And I'm actually going to mix a little bit of black and white together on the side over here because I want just kind of like a gray. Then I'm going to grab that buff white. If you need any buff brown, let me know. Buff brown? Yeah. And <laughs> what's buff brown? <laughs> me? <laughs> what? Nothing. I don't even know what that means. Am I missing something? What did I miss? Oh, now you Where's make, Wilson? Now you're making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really have no idea what you're talking about. Because I'm tan and I'm I'm buff, buff. Brown. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, Cindy. Michael is buff brown. Thank you. <laughs> I'm more like a buff a brown. <laughs> All right. So you see how I'm I'm using the side of my palette knife at an angle to get all of this paint on here. And I have a lot, so I'm gonna pull some of it and I'm gonna bring it down. And here's something I really want you to pay attention to. Do not take your palette knife and do this and use it like you would a paintbrush. And just like, I'm gonna have straight lines, straight up and down. If you want that kind of look, then okay. But that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just kind of, kind of almost like flick it. See how I'm kind of flicking it? So here's an interesting comment by Heidi. Maybe you can comment on it. I have okay. always used the palette knife flat. Maybe that is why I always hated how it came out. Yes. Very good point. Yeah, we do use the palette knife flat in very, very unique situations. At least I do. I mean, you could definitely use the palette knife flat if you want, but I do not. Always keep a little angle to it. Hmm. Okay, I'm coming in here. And I'm also using this little one, I'm using all the way to the end. And you see that little that little corner right there? Kind of pressing with that area too. I'm pressing down on that area. Yeah, there's a lot of people commenting on that oh, flat palette knife thing, Jen. Oh, really? Yeah, I like a bunch. Yeah, keep it at a little angle, just a very tiny angle, and just kind of flick it a little bit. F flick it and swooshing, someone said. Flick Pat, it and swoosh. Pat Bird. And we do that very Bird well. And Mary, Marianne. Yeah, we do that very, very well. And what color is that for the house? Okay, so this is buff white and black and white. Buff white and black and white. Now I'm coming back up here and I'm basically mixing on the on the canvas. Carmel says you are fast. Yes, I am, Carmel. That's because I'm on a live and I know that like this painting, the first time I did it, this it probably took me three hours. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to stay on the live the whole time. One, because I have some chicken on the on the stove <laughs> cooking. <laughs> I 
and two because y'all are gonna get bored if I'm on here for three hours. You know, so. Sandra says I haven't mastered the palette knife yet, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Practice. We're gonna start doing more palette knife stuff in the tribe. So hang on to that thought, Miss Sandra. Okay, and that's Miss Sandra Leanne. Oh yeah, Fisher right? Yeah, I'm a sister. We're gonna we're gonna help you out, Miss Sandra. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to give myself a little guide on where my roof is, and I like to use um, a little bit of black to kind of outline myself sometimes. And I will tell you this: when I painted this. Uh, this original one, I had to let it dry before I could do an additional step. So you can't do, you know, you can't paint everything in one sitting unless you have like a blow dryer and you're going to mm. dry it. So I'm just going to go with that for now. And yes, I, I'm not using the palette knife full uh, flat at all. I'm using at an angle. Just a very, very slight angle. I'm using just the trim of the side. Judy said she can watch for three hours. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to clean off that palette knife with a, with a rag. And then I'm going to take some black again. And I'm just going to make my windows. And watch how easy. I'm going to go with a smaller palette knife because I don't want my windows that thick. So I'm going to put some paint on the end of my palette knife and I'm just going to push down, push down and push down. And I'm still using just an angle I'm using just a very slight angle. And that made my three windows. They're a little bit darker than what I really want them to be. So I'm going to come back with a little bit of white over them. Stacy Bowen, I can see you. You can see her name. I can see her name. I hope I didn't miss anything that you said, Stacy. If I did, I apologize. So remember, if you want to start painting with us more, we have a $10 pop-up paint party or paint party coming up starting January 27th. And we would love to have you join us in that paint party. Because we are, we're not going to be doing palette knife work in that paint party. We're going to be doing more um, paintbrush work, but we're still going to be using acrylics. And you'll be able to see how we paint. Quick question from Barbara. Go ahead, Barbara. All right. I'm going to mix this aqua and this green together. And I'm going to make a turquoise. Oh, it's gorgeous. And I'm going to use a little bit of white to make it. If you're a monthly member, is the pop up an extra fee? It is. It is free. In the uh, in the Facebook group, in the the tribe Facebook group, you have a link. I sent it, I don't know, three times already in the Facebook group for y'all to click on and join. So go ahead and find that, Miss Barbara. So real quick. It should uh, be pinned to the top of, of our tribe Facebook group. Real quick, Stacy Bowen pointed out that she was in Google Chrome and there were only 32 viewers watching. And so possibly if you change your web browser, you can see that we've got close to 160 people on right now. And that's facebook.com forward slash, forward slash, excuse me, Jen's Den Art. Yeah. And Carmel okay. says, will I be able to come back to this painting live to catch up? Um, yes. For about a week, it will be available for the public. Yes, ma'am. And Rose said, I signed up for the party, but if I'm called in for work, will I still have access to the Flower Power tutorial? Mama, tell them that beautiful answer. Yes, indeed. You have lifetime access to that Facebook group. Everything is going to be housed in that private Facebook group, Miss Rose. 
and you will be able to, as long as you stay in that group, you're going to have access to all of the videos in there as long as you want. And that group is just going to stay, stay in the Facebook world forever. So that is your answer. And I hope that's a good one. Wow. Sandra watched the Acrylic 101 last night before she went to bed. The whole thing. Wow. Really? <laughs> I love it. It's like it's like a Netflix movie series. Was it good? <laughs> okay, so this is as far as I've gone so far. Anybody have any questions on what we've done so far? And I'll show you again where we're going and where we are. See that? See that? Now it's not going to look exactly the same, but you can kind of get an idea. What do y'all think? All right, I'm going to add some more colors. And the colors I'm adding are quinacridone magenta, light magenta. It's a beautiful pink color, y'all. I mean, it looks like icing. It looks like, like wedding cake icing. It's so pretty. No questions? Michael said, I haven't seen or watched anything from you that is bad. <laughs> cadmium red light is like an orange. It's called cadmium red light, but it's like a hot, hot orange. See how pretty it is? It's beautiful. I'm going to put that one on there. And... Hmm... I'm going to go with a cadmium yellow deep. Look at that beautiful yellow. Cadmium yellow deep. It's like a it's like a school bus yellow. Okay. And I'm going to add some green because I've got to start getting into my greens. I'm going to go with um, my sap green. You don't need a lot of this paint, y'all. You do not need a lot of it at all. I'm going to add a little bit of Payne's Gray to this. I'm going to show you why. Sandy just signed up for the pop-up paint party. Yay, Sandy. Rose signed up for the pop-up paint party. Awesome. Tammy sent you 200 stars. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So here we go. I'm going to use this medium it's kind of a small because i'm working on an eight by ten um area and so this is what we're going to do we're going to focus on our greens right now and i'm going to come in with these greens i'm going to grab a little bit of i really want to grab i'm going to grab the Payne's gray instead of the black the Payne's gray is going to give it just a little bit of a a cooler tone but it's going to keep it dark Black is just so powerful. The Payne's gray just kind of gives it, gives it a, a pretty color. Just tints it a little bit more towards not so black. You know what I'm saying? So it gives it a beautiful color. It kind of has a, a teeny, teeny bit of a blue tone to it, but not even enough to really tell by using the Payne's gray. Payne's gray is like a really dark um navy blue if you were wondering so anything in the navy blue area would work there so yeah if you use your palette knife just flat this is what you're gonna get okay can y'all see that what part of Payne's gray i mean what what brand of Payne's gray are you using uh master's touch yeah master's touch Barbara had a great comment. We should have posted all the colors so that people could maybe get them and paint them. And I didn't think about doing it. Wait. Yeah. I usually don't know. I don't, like, I didn't write them down. I'm just, like, going from what I think I used the first time. You see how I'm just kind of 
I'm almost just just a little bit of an angle. I'm just kind of Cindy, show you. Cindy's taking care of it. See how this area right here is a little bit darker. I'm just making that a little bit darker. And I'm going to use, I'm going to bring in, and this is just off of, this is a random choice I'm making. I don't think I did this initially. I'm going to use a teeny bit of um, alizarin crimson, like a really dark red in my green. And I want you to see what that's going to do to it. I'm going to take that deep red. And I'm going to mix it in here. Okay, and did you notice what happened to the color? What did you notice about this color? When I put it on the palette, on the, on the paint, the uh, painting surface, you'll be able to see. Do y'all see that? What do you notice about it? Sorry for squeaky. Anybody saying anything? Will this be, uh, not yet, will this be replayed? Yes. Yes. So can it you see? It became darker. Can you see? Y'all can't see as well as I can. Can you see the difference in... You can kind of see, there you go. You can see the difference in the two greens, okay? One of them I mixed Payne's gray with my sap green, and the other one I mixed red with my sap green. Deep and the red. one, yeah, the one that I mixed the red with, it's a beautiful olive color. So it's still a dark green, and it's still the, the main, the main color that I started with was still the same green but I just mixed with a different color and it just gave me just a little bit of a, of a different tone. And when you, when you get those different tones in there, that's what starts giving you that dimension. Okay. So you always want to focus on keeping your paintings to have a variety of colors in your paintings. You don't want to You don't want to just do green one color green the whole background it's just not it's not going to work so you have to make sure that you use a variety of different shades and so i'm starting with a dark green and then what i'm going to do now is i'm going to grab some white and i'm going to grab a little bit of yellow and i'm going to bring in a little bit of a lighter tone i'm still working with the same base color but I'm just bringing in a little bit of a lighter tone. You see that how pretty? And it's not just the color out of the tube. You can't, you can't buy this color that I just mixed. You know what I'm saying? You have to mix the colors to make those colors come to life. So I am a very passionate mixer when it comes to colors because I love making all of the, the variety of colors that you can make. Okay, now I'm going to be a little more strategic because I'm working with a lighter color and I do not want to cover up my dark greens. And I do not want them. I don't want to mud them up. So I'm just kind of strategically placing these lighter greens just to kind of cover that background. I'm not really doing that much right here because this is going to be lighter. I'm going to work on this as we go on this side. It's like I'm, I want you to notice this too. I'm in and out. I'm in and out. I'm in and out. I'm not mushing everything together. I'm in and out. I'm in and out. Okay, I'm going to go even lighter. So I need some more green. This does take a lot of paint, by the way. I'm sure y'all realize that. I'm going to go one more time. 
and I'm going to go with a little bit of yellow and I'm going to go with a lot of white and maybe a little bit more yellow. That yellow is like super almost orangey yellow, so I might need to add more. Kelly says, what style of painting would you call this? Very impressionistic. Maybe just impressionistic, maybe not very impressionistic, but. <laughs> does that make sense? <laughs> to me, it does. I know it's not the prettiest color in the world, but if you use it sparingly, it really makes a pop. It almost looks like diarrhea green, but I promise you. It's going to make a statement. Hmm. That's a nice color. That's right, Cheryl. What's that? Cheryl said Monet like. Monet like. That's right. <laughs> okay. So I'm also going, I'm going to clean my palette knife off. And I'm going to let this sit for a while. And I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to grab some white. I'm going to grab some of this pink with some white. And I'm going to like flatten it out. Can y'all see that? It is poo green, isn't it? I'm going to flatten it out. And I'm just going to grab with the angle. I'm just going to grab kind of like just a little bit. And I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to put just a teeny bit of pink on top of this blue. I'm going to grab some white. Need more white. I don't want it to be so pink. I want it to be a lot more pale. So Yes, Claire, the, this video will remain up for replay for a couple of weeks. Correct, Jen? Yes. All right. Now I'm going to add just a teeny bit of a light purple. Now you can make your purple with the blue and the pink together, which is not a bad idea, but I'm just going to use it like this. And I'm kind of, I had some pink right there and I'm just going to mix it up on top of the pink. And I'm going to bring in a little bit of purple in here. A little bit of white. Pat Berg likes the purple. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't like, what I do not like about what happened is the blue and the white dried. So I'm going to come back with just a little bit of the blue on top so that it looks a little bit more like all mixed up in there. Be very patient with yourself when you're doing this. Do not rush it. Okay. So what we're going to do is 
we're going to do just, I'm going to use up the rest of the paint that I have here and I'm going, I'm actually going to let this dry. And this is going to be going a little bit lighter with this green. And a little bit lighter. So I'm adding some more white. Going a little bit lighter. I like that. Okay, let me see if this thing is plugged in. We're gonna dry it for just a minute. Got a real, got a question. What's that? Can you show how much paint you're putting on the palette knife? I'm just curious about how much I, that should be on it. I'm trying to, hold on. I'm getting very blurry right here. Let me show you. Can y'all see that? Very little. I can show you this way too. Trying to show you, it's really hard with the, okay, so you can see, this is about how much I have on it. Does that help? Heidi said, thank you, Jen. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. And then once you start having these uh, kind of like these layers, now, if you don't want all of your strokes, like mine are all starting to look like they go the same way, just turn your, um, your painting surface. And just give yourself time. You can't finish this in like 45 minutes. This is a painting that you have to give yourself. I like to call it giving yourself grace mm -hmm. and not rushing the process, you know? Like to me, 95% of the joy is the, the process. Like I can sit here quiet in my studio listening to music and just doing this for like 30 minutes and i'll just do this and this and this hey guys everybody's asking about y'all and like to me that is just so soothing to sit there and do that so I know like it, while I'm doing a live, Chicken it's butter. not the, you know, I mean, it, we'd run out of time and, and y'all would get bored with me if I just did that for 30 minutes. <laughs> but, excuse me, I keep on dropping water on the top of my painting. Um, but that's what I do when I'm painting and it's not for anyone, you know, when I'm just painting for me, which hopefully you all want to do for yourself you know? So I share that with you because that is something that I would definitely do when I'm not teaching you. And so I just highly encourage you to Got do you the out. same thing. Now I'm taking just a little bit of this darker green that I have left on my palette. And I'm just coming in here and adding a little bit of tree, a little, little bit of a tree look here. Like there's an old tree down there. And then I'm going to add, just trying to use up the paint I have on my palette. 
I'm going to add like a little bush or maybe it's a tree. I don't know. Very, very little. You do not need a lot of paint at all. You see how I'm, I'm scraping the rest of my paint off of my, um, my sheet because I'm like, you know what? I have that paint there and I can, I can use it. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of it. And that's what I did. I feel like my house is a little dark. So I'm going to take some white and I'm going to flatten it out on my palette knife. Now this is when I'm going to use the palette knife flat because I have a little bit of have a little bit of a texture and it's dry. So I'm going to come on top of that textured area and I'm going to kind of smush around with that white paint on the back of my palette knife and I made my my house just a little bit lighter. Okay, just by adding more white to it. All right, I am also going to, what's next? Oh, I'm going to start on the flowers. Y'all ready to start on the flowers? I'm going to grab some orange. What was this? Um, cadmium red light, and I'm going to mix it in the yellow. And then I'm going to take some white. I'm almost out of white. I'm going to have to put some more white. Stacy's got a comment, Stacy Bowen. Mm -hmm. I learned something new about drying with dryers. Drying with hot heat can make the frame warp as the cotton fibers of the canvas dries. If you're using a wrap canvas and heat guns can burn the paint. One painter had the paint burn and bubble. They also said that the paint doesn't do its chemical thing when drying quickly if the heat is too high because the polymers in the paint don't make the bond they normally do when it dries slowly. So they recommend low cool heat. And oops, I've been using high heat on my dryer. Yeah, all I have is a heat gun. Is that for, for acrylic paints too? Y'all are teaching me stuff. I didn't know that either. I've been drawing my stuff like that. That makes perfect sense because yeah. the same thing with paint when you're uh, when you're painting. Huh. But to use cool 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 air. Well, I haven't had any problems, but that's great to know. In case I do have problems, then I know what the problem would be. By the way, one side of the chicken is well done. Uh oh. Yeah. And Did one you turn side it down. Oh, it's burnt. Like completely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did you turn it off? I uh, just threw a whole bunch of water in it, left it on low. Um, can you go turn it off for me, and I'll deal with it when we finish. <laughs> We got peanut butter. We have peanut butter for supper. <laughs> a lot of smoke in the kitchen. All right. So y'all see what I'm doing? I'm making some cute little orange flowers down there. And I'm going to save some of this orange for some of my other flowers too. Because I like that color. And then I'm going to take just the actual color of the orange. Really bright. And I'm going to come in here. And just add a teeny bit of it. Hey, and then I'm going to take some white. And I'm going to make hey, that. Now I have a lot of paint on my paintbrush here. And I'm going to make a big white flower. And I am going to... <laughs> Now you see my green is still a little bit wet. So I have to be really, really careful when I am trying to do this. I'm gonna take some more white. And again, remember, this is gonna take a lot of paint. So it's okay if I get some of the orange or, now you see how I'm, I'm hardly touching, by the way, I'm hardly touching. And I'm trying to make some little, there we go. That's what I was looking for. I'm trying to make some little, um, like big petals right here, like that. I'm using the whole palette knife like that. 
And then I'm going to make another one. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to make. You still one. using it as a, at an angle? The brush, the uh, palette. No, knife? not right now. I okay. am not because I'm using a ton of paint now. So I'm using it flat now for this part, and I'm just making some little. Some petals and let's go with some more yellow I want to get some yellow and oh not this yellow let's go with that cadmium yellow medium but I'm gonna mix a very little bit of cadmium yellow medium and a lot of white because I want it to be like really really like pastel-y oh no I changed my mind what? Thank you, Glenda. What? Well, Liz said barbecue sauce. Just put barbecue sauce on. It. <laughs> Kelly said take do Mexican takeout. <laughs> Someone said if you got jelly, yep, go with the peanut butter. And then Miss Glenda said, "Looks like a pizza order tonight." <laughs> And Robin said, you guys seem to burn dinner every time you go, you put it on before the lives. Yeah. And I said, yep, every time. every time. I'm good at burning dinners when I start doing something else. I usually have to stay in the kitchen the whole time I'm cooking or else it will burn. Linda, we should have used the, our Instapot. Oh, yeah, we do have an Instapot. Okay, so I like that, but I'm thinking I'm going to do something different right here because I need to come in with my pink flowers. Okay, so I'm going to use all of this pink and I'm going to mix this magenta, the, the dark magenta with the light magenta and I'm going to make like a medium magenta, kind of purplish. All right, and I really want this flower to be way up here and I'm just making some really big petals <laughs> are they laughing at us burning our food we could probably eat that chicken i know i've got several recipes on online right now that everybody's been giving me <laughs> we could probably do chicken jerky we could cut the, we could cut the crust off and, Bring uh, them on, y'all. I'll figure it out once I get off of this live. And Liz came up first and said, just throw some barbecue sauce on it. Just right. throw some barbecue sauce on it. But I heard the Instapot and a crock pot would be a good thing on our live nights. Yeah, we have an Instapot. I just didn't take it out. I just put it on the stove and put a bunch of onions and all that kind of stuff with it. Actually, what we were going to do was make a um, a salad, like a you know like have like grilled chicken was well, not grilled it's hey joan we're doing a salad tonight we were gonna do a salad tonight i'm gonna do a salad with some pepperoni and some cheese <laughs> 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 what i'm saying okay so i'm gonna come back with a second layer and i have a little bit of yellow on my on my uh, palette knife but that's okay and i'm gonna make this little area right here have like more of that color and then I'm going to come back with a third layer and this third layer is yellow and then my final layer is going to be a dark color it's going to be like a dark I'm mixing magenta and orange together and I'm just going to do boop. And there we go. We have a really pretty bright center. And I'm going to use that bright right here. I'm going to use that orange right here. Y'all, I'm like, I'm just hardly touching. I cannot tell you how much I'm just like, I'm adding colors on top by hardly i'm not even touching the other colors i'm basically laying laying layers on top of layers okay all right let's go back into this dark magenta 
and I'm going to take that magenta. I want to I want to kind of start blending all of these colors together. So I'm going to take this purple that I have left and this dark magenta and I'm going to make this beautiful purple. I'm going to come over here. another flower. Rose sent 500 stars. Thank you, Miss Rose. Goodness. She's probably feeling sorry for us because we don't have any dinner to eat. <laughs> well, I'm just playing, Miss Rose. Thank you very much for the, for the stars. Pat, I'm sorry that you were stressed today. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Pat. What Miss Pat is that? That's Miss Pat Berg. Miss Pat Berg. Yep. Thank you, Monica, for asking that. Oh, y'all, we have to tell y'all something. Not to take away from Miss Pat being stressed. Sorry, maybe it's not the right time to talk about it. But we got a um, contract on our house today, by the way. For those of y'all who know, we have two houses that we're trying to sell. One of them. No, we have one house that we're trying to sell. We're, we're, we're living we in have, one. Well, yeah, we have two houses, and we're trying to sell one of them. That's what I meant to say. It just didn't come out right. Let's do the yellow on top of that. I'm going to do a little bit of that right there. Because I like that look. I like it just, I don't know if this is supposed to be a flower or not, but it's just going to be something right here. And then a little bit of... Right on, Glenda. A little bit down here. Just kind of adding a little bit to certain areas. You need a little bit more of that pink. Okay, it's something else we're going to do. I'm gonna put another really dark center right there. That flower looks kind of crazy, but it's just showing like part of the flower. Then I'm gonna come back and take some of this, um, this dark green. I don't have quite enough, so I'm gonna mix just a little bit more. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. A little bit of this dark green. I took the larger palette knife and I'm going back to the larger one. And I'm doing this really quick, y'all, but probably come back another day and fix it. All right, so I need some stems. So I'm going to take the side of the palette knife. And I'm going to just touch, touch like that. And I'm going to make some stems right on the edge of all of these flowers. Even though that doesn't even look like a flower, I'm going to give it a stem. You give that a stem and a stem and a stem. And then... Mmm, Tracy. Mm. Mm. I'm going to give it really dark. I'm going to keep it dark. I'm going to give it some, just some little, little leaves. Mm. Oops, messed that one up. So what I'm going to have to do for that one is I'm going to have to let it dry and then I am going to have to fix it when it dries. So this is definitely not a, a one night painting. This is definitely going to be 
something that we're going to let it dry naturally and then come back. See how I'm, I'm tapping the side of my palette knife there to get some of that paint off. And I feel like I want some of this area to be just a little bit darker. This is a two dayer. I'm going to finish this tonight. It's and not going to be a two dayer, but um, we're painting another one tomorrow. Well, we're actually painting in the tribe tomorrow, oh. but we'll come back in a few days and we'll do something. We'll do, we'll paint this again, but without a palette knife. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Hubba -hubba. Okay. So here's something I want y'all to notice that I don't like about it right now. The first thing is the only aqua blue that I have right now is on the uh, shutters. And I don't like that. So I want some of that aqua blue kind of like somewhere else. So I'm going to take this aqua blue, which is dry. I'm going to make another aqua blue out of the same colors that I had, but I need some more of that because I just need some more. So we're going to make this aqua blue. Go a little bit darker. Okay, so that's a pretty color. And then I'm gonna, now it, it would work much better if I were, if it were dry. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some Dar of that aqua blue. Darlene, it will definitely be added to the tribe library. Oh yeah. Uh, but it will also be available to the public for a couple of weeks. Yes. So and of course, if you're a tribe I'm member, you got it forever. Yes, tribe members will have access to this for as long as you are a member. Okay, so you see how I added that aqua blue that's on the shutters? I am going to decorate them a little bit more. I added that same aqua blue. I'm just about out of paint. I had that same aqua blue down there. And so it pulled all of those colors down there. And then I don't like this flower right here. And I'm going to add just a teeny bit up here as well. I don't like that. That's dry paint on my palette. So let's fix this flower. That flower is not happy to me. It needs some work. So we're going to add. I'm using a larger palette knife. And I'm the edge of it? Yeah. See how I'm holding it also? I'm holding it all the way on the end. And that gives me more control over what I'm doing. Sandra wants to know, will the dancing dragonflies be added to the online classroom as well? Um... I don't know. I haven't decided if that one is is worthy. Worthy. worthy yes. <laughs> worthy. Worthy. That one was not um, one of my best works. This almost looks like a um, popsicle or something. Little bit of that dark pop, really. I think that little darkness that I add to it really makes it pop. I need to get that black out of there. Okay, I'm getting close to the end. I see some things that I would definitely work on later once it's dry, but for the most part. Oh, you. a lot of people are saying you better add that dragonfly. Uh-oh. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything, huh? 
Yeah, I didn't find it was my best work. And well, Sandy's looking for the calendar for this month. Uh, it should be in the January in the January guide in the um in the Facebook group. Should be there. Yeah, Judy said the dragonflies is a good beginner's painting. So you know. Maybe, oh, okay, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. yeah, I'm making a few little white flowers. I'm just trying to like. Just trying to balance everything out because I feel like I'm not that balanced on the colors. And since I have a little bit of yellow left, I'm going to put a little teeny yellow in the middle. Like that on those. And. Hmm. Stacy Bowen said she had a hard time finding it as well. Hmm. In the January guide? Mm hmm She had to use the search bar for January 2023. Hmm. We'll take a look at that. Yeah. Sometimes you got to search really hard for things. Okay. Hmm. Kind of, kind of okay with it. Thank you, Linda. Linda gave us 50 stars. Thank you, Miss Linda. Or gave you 50 stars. Thank you, Miss Linda. A little bit of white. I have a little bit of white left. Rose, I will back. definitely let Ginger answer that question. What's that? In your tribe, do you send text alerts or do you use a calendar for live art sessions? Both. And I send emails after. Um, after the live, you get an email with a link to the live. Um, and we have a calendar. We have... Um, we have text messages. We have the Facebook group where we put it in there. And what else do we do? I think that's it. Yeah, and emails. What's the so, uh, what's your link for your tribe? My tribe is actually not open right now. It doesn't open until February first. But the link is you can you can look at all of the information. Um, that's what she wants. Yes, uh, jensdenart.com. You want to type that in? JensdenArt.com slash tribe. All right. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Do you have certain days that you go live? Mondays and Tuesdays. I go live twice a week because my paintings usually take, well, first of all, I can't, I can't sit for three hours or two hours on a painting. I usually, I can only usually go for an hour and then I need a break. Um, and so do our tribe sisters. So I usually paint twice a week in a, like a two session um, painting instead of a one session for like two hours or two and a half hours. Um, so some of our paintings take what most of our paintings take about an hour to an hour and a half, I would say. Sometimes maybe two to two and a half hours, depending on the painting. Um, but yeah, we go live on Monday and Tuesday nights, usually at six o'clock in the evenings. And um, and I think that answers your question. Beautiful work, beautiful work. The co the covered bridge is tomorrow, is that correct? The covered bridge, the, the, um, the winter covered bridge is tomorrow. Trying to get this in the in the frame so y'all can see it. Robin, wonderful, beautiful comment. This is the best Facebook painting group. If you're looking for the best, you found it. <laughs> so at the end of our lives, which we're still live right now, at the end of our lives, Michael is our, he is a, well, he's a lot of things. <laughs> but one of the hats, two of the hats that he wears is, he is a licensed mental health counselor, and he is also our prayer warrior. So he is going to come on right now and offer his um, encouragement and advice and prayer. So, Michael, you have the floor now. So I said this before. I know nothing except Jesus Christ crucified and him raised from the dead. That's all that I know. Everything else is things that he has given us all and some of us more than others. And uh, I just thank God that he's allowed me to be here with this beautiful lady and this beautiful group of people. 
And so we are a wonderful tribe. I'm bragging on us. We are wonderful because God has allowed us to come together and encourage one another and to pray for one another. And so if you're looking for an opportunity to better yourself, to better your spiritual walk, we hope that we can be a part of that. We hope that we can be a part of that goal in your life to lead you to a place that maybe you haven't visited in a long time or you're wanting to visit for the first time. So I have something to tell you guys. Romans chapter 15, verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. We love you guys and we're so glad that you're here tonight. And I wish that all of our visitors tonight could be with us tomorrow. However, tomorrow is the tribe painting. Mm -hmm. And you will see a lot of what you saw tonight if you were happen to join, and if you join the pop-up paint party, you're going to see a lot of what you saw tonight. Uh, we love to laugh and joke and talk about foods and desserts, <laughs> and we love to talk about uh, things that we aren't particularly proud of and that the mistakes that we make, but we <laughs> always lift each other up and praise one another because it is God who has told us to take care of one another. And that's what we want to do in this group, and we'd like to do it with you. And if not, that's okay. Just show up for the free paintings. Yep. yep. Thank you all for being here tonight. And I will let you know when we're going to be live again. It'll be a few days before I come live again. We're going to be spending the next couple of nights with our tribe members. And um, we will see you all soon. We'll have another painting soon. Y'all have a great night. Love you all. Thanks for being here. Mwah. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>